Hi, everyone. I'm Naomi Watts, and I'm doing Ask a Grown Woman for Rookie. Okay, the first question. Hi, Rookie. My name is Morgan. I'm, I'm 24, and I live in the UK. I've been moving quite a bit in the past three years, and I think I found a place to settle. But my only problem is that even though I have a few friends, I'm always alone. I'm starting to suffer a lot from loneliness. I'm really trying to distract myself, but at least once a day, I'm getting really stressed that I'm on my own. I'm always happy when I have people around me, though. It is so hard making new friends and finding new people that I can spend time with. I'm not even mentioning finding a boyfriend because I can't make friends. If I can't make friends, how can I find a boyfriend, right? I just wanted to know if you had advice on how I could deal with myself and how to meet new people. Thanks a lot. Lots of love, Morgan. Yeah, you have to get out there, even with the fear. Um, go and mix with new people. I would say once a week, try and put yourself in a situation where um, you know you're going to meet someone new. And even if that's a little bit scary, and if if you really do that, I think you'll find that it's not as scary as you thought it was. It's often the anticipation and the things, the imposter that lives in your head that tricks us into believing that it's scary. Um, and I think if you do that once a week, you might find that you can broaden your circles. I get it, though. It's um, I remember coming to Los Angeles when and I really didn't know anyone. And um, I had I was forced into a situation where I literally had to call those people that say, hey, give me a ring. And I'm not normally that, I'm not I'm not outgoing. So I was quite shy. So you do just have to break through. And I think bit by bit, you'll uh, meet more and more people. This is another question. Dear Rookie, as I have grown older, I have naturally been going to bed later. This has unexpectedly had some unfortunate consequences. My parents sleep directly above in our converted loft. There's no way, there's no easy way of putting this. I can hear them having sex. I don't know if I should mention this to them or how, but it really disturbs me and makes me feel quite uncomfortable. How do you advise I go about trying to sort this out from an extremely disturbed team. Gosh, this is a tricky one. Um, I would say, um, I think you should probably just call it like it is and say that it's uncomfortable um, and say to your mom and dad, um, guys, I love that you guys are into each other and um, that makes me feel really good. Um, and I'm glad that it makes you feel good because <laughs> actually I hear it every night or whenever it is. Um, so I'm going to ask you to tone it down. Um, try to get a hotel every once in a while or no, maybe that's impossible. I don't know. Um, or ask them to um, help you build a door <laughs> or supply earmuffs. I, I'm not quite sure. I think this would be uncomfortable and I do remember walking in on my mother once and it was quite disturbing. The good news is is that this is your mom and dad and you're, um, you, you can feel comforted by the fact that they really still like each other and love each other and that means a lot. Okay, that's all I got. <laughs> Bye guys.